Black Sabbath don't write songs that you hear on the radio, you know. We write musical pieces. If you try to live up to the expectations of the past album, then you just fail dismally. You can't always repeat what you've done. You've just got to go on. It'll be a, a today's version of, of how it was 40 years ago, I suppose. Last time we were in the studio all together was 1978. Oh, it's different altogether now. We've got much more of a thing going than what it was in them days. I wanted to sound current, but yet still have that Sabbath vibe, you know. Right. Oh, God. See it oh, already. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what was that? Him. Uh. Fucking hell. <laughs> that woke me up. The new material. I really like it, I think it's really good and we've got some good stuff going. Technology is more important to us in the writing process. It's so much easier now to use Pro Tools. It depends on who's got their hand on the lever. I'm really excited for the fact that Rick Rubin's doing it. I think he's looking for a raw Sabbath and I think we're looking for that as well. I make an album that I like and then if someone else likes it, great. Well, I'm hoping that you know people are going to like what we're doing. I like what we're doing, and we like what we're doing. Do you think we should do that double event at the beginning? Or try it. Yeah. Yeah. For the longest time, drugs and alcohol were our front friend, and, and, and at the end of the day, it destroyed us. legacy to live up to. I think it's got to this time now, after all these years, that we can't leave it any longer. I mean, we, you know, if we leave it any longer, it would be too late. Probably all be dead soon. So, uh, you know, while we still can play and sing, then um, we've got to do it. This Black Sowers album is quite possibly the most important album of my career. I guarantee there is going to be a Black Sabbath album.